guys, so I am here to record an unconventional intro and outro to my video on how I got a sleek ponytail. Um, and the reason why I'm doing the video in my car is because I never really got a chance to record the after and the reason why is I've just been so busy with work lately that I just never found the time. Um, I usually create this hairstyle on Sundays um, when I'm getting ready for work for the week. Um, so that's the reason why I haven't really gotten the time because Monday morning I'm like rushing, you know Monday, you know Monday vibes. When you're rushing for work, I don't have time to pull out a camera and show the after. So um, I'm doing my outro and my intro here. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the tutorial and I will be back with the outro with any questions you may have. I will try to answer it in the outro. Okay, so first things first, you will start off with freshly washed hair. The products that I'll be using in this video is Eco Styler Gel, um, some hair oil that I just mixed together, as well as some Cantu Shea Butter. This is literally like my staple. And last but not least, African Shea Butter. And the utensils that I use for my hair is just a boar bristle brush and my contour comb that I got from hotcombs.net. This is a seamless comb. And if you want just an added um, for it to stay down a little bit better, that got to be spray. So the first thing that I do um, after I freshly um, co-wash my hair is I just use a t-shirt to just soak up any excess oils. And um, then I'm going to part my hair in different sections. I find that parting my hair in sections is the best way for me to detangle my hair and also for me to get my hair to slick down really well. As you can tell, my hair is just really, really, really thick. Um, so this is the only way I'm able to put my hair into a ponytail. So starting off with the first section, what I do is I add some oil to my hands and I rub it into my hair. And then I follow up with some Cantu Shea Butter. I add that to my hair. And then after adding the Cantu Shea Butter to my hair, I'm going to take some actual pure Shea Butter and I'm going to put it in the palm of my hands and I'm going to rub it together so that it can melt a little bit. And then I apply that to my hair as well. And then I'm going to detangle from the ends all the way up to my roots using my contour comb. Um, this is a seamless comb so I know that my hair is not going to rip with the seams in between the teeth of the combs. Um, so just putting that one section um, into a different piece, I start detangling and then I flip it to the other side of the comb and I detangle some more. I put that section away, moisturize the next section and just repeat the steps throughout this, uh, just repeat the steps again to each section. When I'm done with that section, I'm going to make sure I can just put it down in a low ponytail and then I um, do it the other section. Next, I add my Eco Styler Gel and um, I'm just using this to smooth down the first half of my ponytail. My ponytail is actually in halves. So um, I add the gel to it and then I brush it down and I smooth it. And that's gonna be the first section of my ponytail. The front part, I'm going to add to it. This is literally the only way I'm able to put my hair into a ponytail. Now the front section, I do the same thing again. I moisturize um, my hair and then I'm going to slick it down. Um, this time when I'm combing my hair back, I comb it at an angle and I add my gel at an angle and then I'm going to pull that into my ponytail. So this section right here, I'm going to put as much gel as I possibly can um, to help smooth down. And then I take my piece, I make sure I detangle it one more time, brush it down so that it's smooth. And then I'm going to take a scrunchie now and I'm going to wrap that section around the ponytail that I already created in the back. So I'm gonna keep holding it down, take a scrunchie, and I'm going to smooth it down. And this is, when I tell you guys, this is the only way I can get my hair in a ponytail. <laughs> um, so I just take my scrunchie and I just wrap it around that, and that's going to complete that portion of my ponytail. Now I don't wrap the scrunchie around too tight because I'm gonna to have to loosen it for the other section. So the other side of my hair, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to moisturize it, then I'm going to add my gel, smooth it down. I'm gonna take the scrunchie out of the ponytail while holding the other side so that it doesn't come loose. And um, then I'm going to wrap both sections around with my scrunchie. And I'm always making sure that it's laying down as smooth as possible. And do not worry about my hair, um, my hair or your hair being white. 
um, that's totally fine. It's not going to dry the way as you saw in the beginning. My hair did not look white once it dried. Now that my sides are laid down flat, it's time to work with the middle section. The middle section is a little bit difficult because um, the front portion of my hair is not as long, so it will be hard for me to bring it to the back. And it's also super thick, so I'm going to work with different rows, maybe about an inch or an inch and a half thick. I'm going to moisturize each section, um, and then I'm going to add a lot of gel and smooth it down into my ponytail. I'm going to keep doing this process until my hair does not reach the ponytail anymore. That's in the back, and I'm just going to keep smoothing the gel down with as much gel as possible. One thing I like about the Eco Styler Gel is that it contains no alcohol, so it definitely will not dry my hair out. Um, so I really can just do this process about twice a week, which I usually do. So I'm just right here. You just see me just adding like clumps and clumps of gel. Um, it does not leave my hair hard at all. Um, and I'm just smoothing it down with my brush. And then once I'm done with forming my ponytail, I just add a little bit more gel to my edges, making sure that it's laid down super flat. And then I'm going to add some fake hair for my bun. What I use was just some regular um, Marley hair that I had from when I had my Marley twist. I'm going to wrap it around my bun and um, that's basically it with that. But now in the intro, I did not use the same type of hair, which I will explain in the outro. But um, then I just take my scarf and I put it on my head. Now the way that I layered my hair in this video um, with like protecting it at night, I wouldn't suggest doing that because my hair did not dry properly. But the reason why I did this is because I really just wanted to make sure that my gel did not seep through um, my pillow. So the first thing I did is I added this scarf that I got from Tar uh, not Target, from Walmart. Um, so I just added this scarf onto my head, wrapping it around. I wrap it underneath my ponytail once and then wrap it on top of my ponytail. Then I take the tail of the scarf and I pull it down so that the top of my head can lay down flat. I don't want any of my hair to just come up in the morning. Um, and that's, that's what happens when you're natural and you have curly hair. And then I'm going to take a couple of scrunchies and I'm going to put it around my ponytail just to make sure that that top portion right above the ponytail lays down flat and there's no gap there. The next thing I do is I add another scarf to my head. And again, you don't have to do all these layerings. Um, I figured out just doing one scarf and then putting like a towel over my pillow just helped because adding all of this, my hair did not dry properly. So I just added another scarf just, you know, so that, you know, it's secure and then I add it on my slap cap onto okay, my head guys, so and then I go to bed. That's it. Um, that's just how I created that hairstyle. It's very simple and easy. It takes me about 30 minutes to do. Um, and my hair feels super soft. It does not feel like hard or dry at all. Um, as you can see, my hair is still slick. The edges are still laid to the gods, honey, laid to the gods. Um, and my hair did not dry white, so that's a good thing. The only difference between the clip that you guys saw on how I created that hairstyle and the hairstyle that I'm wearing right now is that I switched up the hair that I used for my ponytail. So in the clip, you saw me use Marley hair, but right now I use hair from Perfect Locks Extensions. Um, and this is not a plug, this is literally some hair that I had in my stash that I used to wrap around my hair. And the reason why I switched up on the hair is because the Marley hair that I used, it kind of felt a little dry, looked a little dry, and also it seemed a little bit dark for my hair. My hair has like a lightish brown color to it, so the Perfect Locks Extensions color like matched it perfectly. And um, I really like the way the texture looks, it's nice and soft. So it looks like, you know, I just did a wash and go. Um, so that's basically it guys. Um, that's a technique that I developed. I'm not too sure if there's a video on YouTube already showing how to do the technique that I did. If there is, it's a coincidence or that's great. Um, if you have any further questions or any of the products that I use in this video, feel free to ask below. And I think that's about it guys. So I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.